no, I haven't done a video in like forever and one days, but uh, just wanted to do a quick little update. Um, I still have the uh, Spartan, which is up and running. Maybe I'll show a video of it or whatever. I end up moving into a, a new house. So um, I had brought over my, I had a 110 and um, called the queen and I took that one down thinking that I was going to buy a different house up in uh, Coral Springs, Florida. Um, well, that deal, I kind of like uh, let it go. So, I mean, the whole sale and get rid of the tank was kind of a, a bust. So um, I just happened to went on Craigslist today. And I noticed this tank right here, which is a 300 gallon deep dimension um, for sale. Um, it's actually, uh, I think $600 is what the guy wanted. I offered him five. He said, great, cost me 50 bucks to drive up there and get it um, and drive back to my house. So it's here now. And I got it on like a piece of wood. And as you can see, a dolly, and like one of those 300 or 500 pound dollies or something like that. Um, and I'm sitting here, uh, I just sprayed the, uh, the bottom of it black, and I'm going to spray the uh, corner of the overflows, the ones that you can see, I'm going to spray those black, and then uh, be behind the tank, or the actual back of the tank, I'm going to actually put my company logo, Deep Reef Water, I'm going to have a reverse sticker on there, and just, uh, just to like celebrate my company, um, so... This is like a personal project of mine. I've always wanted this tank. This has been uh, has been a dream tank of mine or whatever. As you guys know, brand new these tanks are normally like twenty eight hundred or whatever like that. Even wholesale, they're they're pretty much expensive. Um, I did notice that they did a reseal job on the tank, so I'm gonna water test it. Um, hopefully, um, there's no leaks. It was water in it when I picked it up, but rainwater obviously so what i'm doing now is i'm going to use some wood to set the tank up um, on the floor until i make the custom stand for it and then i'm gonna fill it with uh regular water some vinegar everything like that to kind of kill off everything that's in there and then see um and make sure it doesn't leak and if it does leak well you know then i'll have to figure uh that part out when i get to it but um for the most part i think he uh overdid the globbing job with the uh with the aquarium sealant so hopefully it did work and there's no issue or whatever like that um, the, uh, I mean from what I heard the main reason the guy took it down was because he upgraded to a 500 but there's no telling you know once a tank leak it kinda you're kinda stuck or whatever like that so we'll see um, but hopefully it's not a project that I'm wasting money on but and um, and if I go ahead and I get all the materials and I build it and it does leak, I mean, it'll just motivate me to buy one of these new and set that one up or whatever like that. But um, I'll do, uh, I guess, some more upcoming videos on uh, on the new builds that I that I do. And then I'll give you guys an update on the Spartan since I haven't done it in a very long time or whatever. I also have a. Uh, a frag tank a 105 gallon frag tank that's like six foot long uh 36 inch deep nine inches tall i call that one zerk season it's connected to the spartan or whatever so um i'll probably do a video on that and uh Jaden's 60 gallon is still running uh it's in his bedroom and he's ecstatic about that so um guys lay around and uh thank you for always keeping up to date with everything uh this is what my garage looks like just in case you guys wonder uh, what JB does in his spare time um, that's about 900 gallons of water there and then that's another 100 gallons so it's about a thousand gallons on average or whatever I have this system that I also built uh, to hold fish and uh, to hold fish rocks and corals and stuff like when I'm when I'm cycling and, and staging and everything like that so I mean I haven't ran it in a while I water tested it uh, I was thinking about getting rid of it, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. So, um, I always appreciate you guys for checking up on me, see how I'm doing. Um, Adjuster Frank, what's up, dude? Uh, Wesley Forbes, what's up? You guys always, you know, hit me up, see how I'm doing. So, big shout out to you guys. So, um, I appreciate everybody else who's on YouTube who always watches also. So, thank you guys for your time and uh, peace, and I'll see you on the next one.